Hardware Model Normalization is a feature in the Paris release of Hardware Asset Management. With hardware asset data coming from many sources, the result, lots of hardware asset data, some with missing information, and some with varying information. We may have multiple versions of the same manufacturer name, model name, or model number. Hardware model normalization occurs at the hardware model level. It is the standardization of manufacturer, product, and model number data that exists on the hardware model record. With this comes association of manufacturer lifecycle metadata that is associated to the hardware model. Because normalization occurs at the hardware model level, any CI or hardware asset record that is associated to that hardware model will automatically have the lifecycle metadata associated to it as well. Another benefit is that the device type on the hardware model is aligned to the global standard for product identification, which is the United Nations Standard Product and Services Code, which is a taxonomy of all products and services that can be sold. Finally, with this lifecycle metadata already associated to hardware assets and CIs, this enables strategic planning by giving visibility to the manufacturer's lifecycle details. Matthew Taylor, the inventory supervisor, receives a call from the owner of the employee engagement service. The owner of the service is concerned about maintaining the high quality of the service and making sure that no unexpected issues come up. When he looks at the service in ServiceNow, he sees that there are two integrated routers that support his service. One router has associated lifecycle information to it. The other does not. He asks Matthew to please investigate. Matthew opens up the hardware model record for the integrated router that has lifecycle information associated to it. He sees that the normalization status is set to normalized. The manufacturer, product, and model number are normalized as well. He also sees that a device type has been set related to the taxonomy on the UNSPSC. And because this hardware model is normalized, the manufacturer lifecycle metadata has been associated to it. He sees that there are four lifecycle dates associated to this hardware model. Matthew then opens up the hardware model that did not have any associated lifecycle information. He immediately sees that only the manufacturer has been normalized and there is no associated lifecycle dates to this hardware model record. He goes to the general tab and sees that the model number is missing from this hardware model record. He proceeds to enter in the model number and then save the hardware model record. He goes back to the normalization tab and now he sees that the normalization status has been set to normalize, the manufacturer, product, and model have been normalized as well, and a device type has been set. He also also sees that the manufacturer life cycle dates have been associated to this hardware model as well. Matthew immediately calls the owner of the employee engagement service and tells him that he has solved the problem. The owner then goes into ServiceNow and indeed sees that both integrated routers have life cycle information associated to them. Now that the hardware models are normalized for both integrated routers, the service owner can see the end of support date coming up in a couple of years. The service owner can now be proactive. He can make sure the two integrated routers are properly upgraded and patched prior to end of support, and now he has plenty of runway to research, negotiate, and purchase replacement routers for those two devices. As we saw in the demo, there were two integrated routers that were providing network services to a critical business application and critical business service. One of the routers belonged to a hardware model that was normalized. In this case, we could see lifecycle metadata such as the end of support for this router. The second router belonged to a hardware model that was not normalized. For this router, we could not see any lifecycle information. To maintain the quality of this service for our customers, we need to be able to plan for maintenance and replacement of any hardware that supports the business application or service. In this case, we would not know any information about the second router until it was normalized. At that point, we could be proactive about the maintenance and replacement of the second router as well. For more information, go to servicenow.com ITAM. Thank you.